Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. Familia, another day, another drugstore eyebrow review and tutorial. So <laughs> I just reviewed the Maybelline. And then before that, I reviewed the NYX along with their stencils. So I'm like, okay, this is the last one. I really like drugstore eyebrow products. I think they do a really great job. I love NYX. NYX is like the go. As of right now, between the Maybelline and the NYX one, I like the NYX. Let's try L'Oreal and see. I have two shades, dark brunette and soft black. Oh, and as you can tell, my eyebrows are not on and I'm washing my hair again the second time this week. Could you believe that? So that's why I look a little bold. Let's talk about my brows first. So I have very sparse brows. As you can see, there isn't a lot of hair and there's hair missing. That's like the sparse this one is shorter than this one these don't even look related they look like straight neighbors so usually brows are sisters but I like mine to be identical twins you know so yeah this is this is how they look I have here the first one is shade dark brunette let's see as we saw with the Maybelline these drugstore gels are very 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 pigmented oh look at this brush oh you see it has like that hump right there it looks like it dispenses a good amount of product. Let's see. I like these brushes. Okay, it looks like it'll just comb it through nicely. Soft black. Kind of liking this brush. It's very different. It's like extremely small. You see that? And I like that hump it has with the little spikes, which will comb the product into your eyebrows well. Or at least that's like the idea. Soft black is truly like a soft black and dark brunette has a bit of a warm undertone. I don't know, I'm kind of going for dark black I wanna use. Let's see, let's see, I don't know. So the way I like to stop my brows is removing all the product, moisturizer, whatever I have, because they're so sparse, I need the product to really stick onto the actual hair. Let's go in with dark brunette. I don't know, for some reason, this one's calling my name. So what I like to do is really, ooh, okay, there's pigment. Really get the product in the brows kind of messily like this, right? Oh wow, you see that pigment? Oh my God. And then with the, the spikes here, we are going to comb up. This is very pigmented. I'm gonna grab my paper towel, remove what's here, so that as I'm combing, I'm not adding even more product. Because I have sparse brows, product can literally overtake my brows in two seconds. Now, we ain't got time for all that. Okay, we got some bold, bold, bold brows. But I'm kind of liking this comb thing. You see that? This is good amount of product, right? I'm gonna get my cellar water. I'm gonna clean this up because brow gel will always be messy. Unless you have like thicker brows, product won't look as messy for the most part if you have sparse brows like me. It will. Dark brunette is very dark. It does have like that brown tint to it. So I'm gonna get a spoolie with no product and I'm just gonna comb these right through just because I don't want my brows looking too boxy, which they kind of look. Okay, you guys know I'm gonna have to get my NYX brow pen to create little strokes because I like my brows to look longer. Right now they have a good amount of product, but they're short. It doesn't work out with my face shape, especially because I have big eyes. So I need my brows to kind of become a little bit longer to fit my face. So I'm gonna start with the tail. I'm gonna make the tail a little bit sharper. That was too sharp. Maybe add like product right there. Cool. And then in the front, I'm going to put the pressure here on my pinky and just create the hairs like this. Because we're working with the straight up bold brow, bold-ish brow, to soften the very boldness of it, you can do it right here in the end like I did. So you want to just go lightly with the pen and kind of just keep it like that. You see how it kind of fades? And then when we clean it up, it'll look very, very nice. Talking about cleanup, I'm going to use L'Oreal. Oh yeah, I'm talking about L'Oreal. Concealer in the shade Oatmeal. I go with a very light concealer shade because it gives a nice highlight to the brow bone. The way I apply this is with this type of brush like this. It's super flat. I don't know what brand it is, so sorry. Like there's no brand. I found it in my stuff and I've been using it for months and months. And you know what? Have you guys seen something like this? 
if so, let me know where I can buy it. I'll buy like five of them, you know? But it's super thin. I like it because it keeps the product very compacted in. But what you want to do is tilt your head, make sure you go right underneath from where the product is, and that's how you do the cleanup. You're going to follow the shape of how your brow looks at the moment. I get a small, small brush. Again, tilt my head and blend this out. Blend it out to the side and down to like the eyelid. And this way, I kind of like this. Is my brow looking bold? Yes. Is it as bold as the one, the Maybelline? Not really. It's the brush for me. It really just applies enough product. You can obviously go in with a heavier hand, but you know, you can see like my brows, you can't go heavy with anything. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get this little piece right here with the pen. You guys know when I review products, I don't like to use a secondary product just to show you how it looks because my eyebrows are very specific. And when I'm reviewing a brow gel, brow gel doesn't really shape your brows. It kind of just gives them volume and color and staying power but if you want them to look longer, sharper, thinner, especially on the end, a brow gel will never really do that for you. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is why I'm using this second product. But wait, look at this brow though. She's a beauty, huh? Okay, look at this before and after. When I tell you brows will shape your face, this is why I don't ever do my makeup before my brows because like, what is this? It's not there. <laughs> I kid, I kid, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, look. Oh my God, where is she going today? Okay, I'm so excited. So it is 9.56. I guess I can start the wear test now or maybe when I'm done. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is apply this side, give you the info about this and speed it up so you can just see without me blabbing how I apply the other brow. Especially this is the struggle brow too. The new L'Oreal Infallible Brow Volumizing Mascara retails for $14.99. I have two shades, Dark Brunette and Soft Brown. It comes in seven shades. Thicken and volumize your brows with L'Oreal Infallible Brow's 24-hour mascara. This fiber charge formula delivers up to two times fuller looking brows for up to 24 hours. This is smudge resistant and transfer resistant with a long wear formula. I purchased mine at Ulta. Okay, okay, brows are looking good. They're looking more like cousins now. I need a little more product, but I don't want too much. So I'm gonna grab my little paper towel. I want to, these brow hairs are coming down, so I wanna kinda glue them up. Yeah, like this. Top of my brow, I need to bring it down a bit because it's a little too arch and it's not matching the other one. There we go. Oh yeah. This is the process that I go through. Look, this leaks too. A paper towel and look. Usually it starts leaking like this when it's running out. So I bought my backup yesterday, so I'm not passed out without one. <laughs> All right, brows look good, they look good. Okay, this is it. So let me finish up my face and I'll be back. All right, familia, here we are. Peinadita and everything. I feel like I'm going like to the prom or something. I did this look with this palette. It should be up by the time this video is up on YouTube Shorts. So you can see, I did promise you a few looks using the new Natasha Denona palette. So I already did one and here is the second one. But let's look at these brows. Brows look good. I kind of like that they're not perfect you see there's a little bit of sparseness there i typically don't like things to be too too structured it's just i don't know it's not my vibe i used to like that i like the brows i do love the applicator it's my favorite the fact that it doesn't really pull a lot of product i did have to clean it out because you guys i barely have brows you guys saw how my brows started and i just like that you can use What's on the product, you can remove it. When I removed it, I still had enough product to work with. So I kind of like that because if you have thicker brows, longer brows, furrier brows, all kinds of brows, I think this really kind of gets into that because of the actual wand, the little wand applicator thing. So I really like the brows. They look really good. Of course, you guys saw I went in with my NYX pen just because I like my brows to look a little bit, you know, longer. And this shade is bomb. It used to be, I guess not anymore, not with this new round of drugstore brow products. It used to be that a lot of the browns 
in a drugstore brow products were super warm up against my skin tone. Maybe when you swatched it, it doesn't look too warm, but when you apply it, really work it in, it just would always turn so warm. And I kind of like that. The past three eyebrow reviews I have done, no orangeness, no warmth. It's like just legit color, you know? So I'm just like, damn, I think the drugstore is learning. And you guys, this lip combo, I kind of went a little crazy. I don't know. This is not even a lip. I don't know if it really matches the eye look, but who cares, you know? I got this too. You know, Tower 28, Draw Me. This NARS Matte Lipstick in Free Bird. L'Oreal Pump Gloss in the shade Nude Twinkle. What you think? What you think? What you think? But you know what? Let's go in front of the window because it is super late. It is almost 12 o'clock. So yeah, vamanos. All right, brows. Daylight brows are looking really good. Ooh, see that color? That's what I'm saying. It's looking very flurry, flurry, very fluffy. The product gave the brows a little bit of fluff, which it says in the description, you know, so it's on par to what the description says. I love that it's not that messy. And these brows, this is a good brow today, I think. Yeah, I think they're like cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. Maybe a distant cousin today, but I like them. I think I just love, they kind of look natural, right? Or maybe it's the full beat. I don't know. But anyway, I like them. Fam, I'm back. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so late. It is 11, oh wait. It's 11.30, I've had the brows on, damn, for like 13 hours or so. But I got some footage for you at around, my friends here, um, at around six o'clock to show you how the brows were looking. At this point, they were looking really good. Nothing was really fading. I just was really loving the furry, furry slash fluffy look. Guys, I went to a Rare Beauty event. I literally just got home, so I've been out and about for the past like six hours, and these brows are looking freaking good. I see a little bit of fading here i also think it's because like you guys saw i didn't use a lot of product i took a lot of product off so my brows wouldn't look super bold which is totally fine because i feel like they look more natural more like this is my actual hair than anything and they're pretty well put together some hair kind of fell off other than that i like it this brow gel gives you more of a natural brow more than the maybelline one i just reviewed i like the applicator i think it just applies product perfectly perfectly and enough not too much not too little to give you more of a natural furry look as opposed to like a super bold kind of 2016 brow you know definitely like this one better than Maybelline and I'm kind of torn between this one and the new NYX one so I don't know let me know if you want me to compare both of these tell you how they are because they're very similar they're both brow gels you know so let me know but this is it let me know your thoughts have you gotten this I got mine at Ulta are you planning on getting this do you use brow gels let me know and thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye